Hi guys, Coach Victor Robledo here today. And today we're gonna talk about seven things that you shouldn't do if you're going through adrenal fatigue. Um, real quick review, if you have adrenal fatigue, you're wired and tired, chronically injured, GI problems, um, anxiety, depression, uh, hormone changes, you know, drop of a dime, you kind of feel like weepy at the same time, you got this road rage kind of going. So if you're going through any of those things, you could be going through your adrenal fatigue. I'm gonna give you seven, if you stay and listen to the, till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you all seven things that you shouldn't be doing to help you improve on that. Now before that, Victor Robledo, if you're new to the channel, I've been working as a strength and conditioning coach for almost 30 years, and I help people of all different walks of life, but now I focus on taking people to another level and teaching them what workouts and exercise should really be about. Here's the list of seven things. Number one, stops training so damn hard. If you're really going through adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue, the last thing you need is a really intense workout. You need workouts to create results, but not the idea of just wearing yourself out. It's the last thing your body needs. Number two, stop eating dairy and gluten. Those are real high on the allergen scale and it's just gonna mess up your GI tract even more. Number three, Stop going to bed so late. If, when you have adrenal fatigue, your circadian rhythm, the rhythm which you live your life is completely out of whack. So the best thing you can do is get to bed 10, 1030 at the latest and really work on prioritizing that sleep hygiene. Number four, stop drinking coffee and stimulants. Yes, I said stimulants because a lot of people I know will start doing drinking a little bit more. They'll potentially do, they'll do and dip a little bit more and they get stimulated by that and then create this horrible habit where they create a stimulant, the body creates more stress hormone. They're ending up in a greater and greater hole. Number five, don't start taking antacids because you feel like your GI system, oh, you're belchy and burpy. Oh, I must have a lot of acid. Taking the antacid is only going to suppress more of your natural creation and give you greater problems with your digestion. Number six, this is a big one. Don't get lulled into taking a steroid. Now, a lot of people get all over achy and pain, aches and pains, and they go see their doctor and then put them on prednisone. Not but the problem with that is that it's gonna put on weight, create a whole different cycle and a level of addiction to that drug because yes, it is powerful. You will feel better in the short term, but long term when you go off, you fall off that, you're gonna create a cascade of problems. And the last one is hormone replacement. And again, there's a relationship with the cortisol that you're creating in your body and that can create a problem with your testosterone or estrogen, testosterone estrogen balance. If you're a female, the higher the cortisol, the lower your your testosterone uh, and testosterone estrogen balance. Now, if you go to my free app, I have all this information that I'm creating and laying out for you so you have a greater understanding. I also have on more about the symptoms of adrenal fatigue, um, check it down below. Please leave some comments. I love helping, helping people out and everyone that usually puts a comment in there, I send a personal message to. I've met some amazing people that have been suffering for way too long. So please make sure you like this, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.